I'm the itinerant voice actor Carl Bishop for Wise Brother Media, and I'm joined today by legendary comedian, love goddess, and head priestess of Judaism, Judy Tenuta. <laughs> Thank you so much, Carl. Yes, it is correct. I am the love goddess and, and founder of my own religion, Judaism. And, of course, my religion is for everyone. I have equal rights for everyone to worship me. Well, that sounds Woo-hoo! good. That sounds like a religion I can sign on with. How, how can I become a practitioner of Judaism? As you know, Valentine's Day is coming up. Yeah. And, uh, you know, women, women need gifts. And, of course, mm-hmm. uh, uh, you know, women need compliments. Okay. I'm, 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 I tend to be a very complimentary person no matter who you are. Yeah, well, you know, that's very Although wise. I lie to people a lot, but, you know. Uh, yeah, but here's a song about that. Okay. And if you want us to be there some more, you're going to have to sweet talk us. Then you will score. <laughs> white lies can lead to romance. Just tell us our butt looks too small in our pants. <laughs> but, of course. Yeah. I know. Very well, everyone wants a Kim Lardashian ass. I don't know what that's about. I, I don't know what that's about either. Why would you want to carry that much junk around with you all the time? <laughs> that's I know. And you got to pay. You got to pay extra for. You got to pay that. extra for all the spandex and the leather and whatever else you stuff it into. I mean, you, <laughs> and it doesn't matter. She still got robbed anyway. Uh, yeah. You can't go walking around with giant diamonds around your pants. Well, I just hope she never sits on one. She'll never get it back. <laughs> Well, you sh- got that right, I Carl. Should- <laughs> oh. I shouldn't be cracking the jokes. That's your job. No, I love it. I love it. You know, I love New York City. Do you know that's where I got famous, New York City? I know that's where you got famous. You're beloved here, uh, not only by the straights, but also the gays, of which I am uh, a proud member. Uh, oh, thank you. Yes, oh, we love you, God, Judy. We love our gays. I love the gays. I love the gays. I love the gays. As you know, I perform gay marriages. Well, you know I that. know. You know, if I had known that when I got married to my husband uh, six years ago, I would have I would have sent you an email and asked you. Oh, that's so nice. I'm so happy for you. It would have. I, I don't know how our wedding could have gotten better. It was a beautiful day, but the. You're... Oh, did you? Were you? Were you? Uh, where were you registered? Don't tell me. Pottery <laughs> barn. No, Crate and Barrel. Oh, it couldn't be better. Yeah. We love it. We, we love, love it. it. Yeah, you. I bet you... your house looks flawless. <laughs> yeah, but you. Oh, you know what? My studsicles. Uh, yeah, I love. I love. Uh, you know the gays, gay men and women. Well, you know the gay women are always trying to. Beauty, how'd you like to come <laughs> over with us? We're we're going over to Home Depot. I love it over there too. <laughs> the the lesbian yeah. the lesbitarians, which uh, the you lesbitarians. got you got nominated for a Grammy for your comedy recording. Attention, butt pirates and lesbitarians. Yes, yes. I lost out to Jonathan Winters, and you know, oh, but if hey, you're going to lose a Grammy, that's someone to lose it too. I mean, what the heck? Right, but you know, I should have gotten it because actually, he said he didn't even realize. He recorded an album. What it was <laughs> was all his voicemail. Oh. And, and yeah, yeah. That it was all his voice messages, and they just recorded oh them. Oh, my God. I think I've heard and about that one. <laughs> oh, uh, Gesundheit. Oh, oh, my goodness. Oh, no. Have, have you... I had some of that wonderful New York beer? You... I don't know what happened. You... Oh, Whoop. my God. I got the hiccup. <laughs> oh, put your head between your legs. Quick. How many times have I heard that? <laughs> <laughs> That was called a setup. All right, so um, I want to talk about your um, your book, Full Frontal Tenuity. Yeah. And, and this is something that, like I alluded to earlier, that, that I always lie to people and I'm always very nice to them. Something my mother taught, she said, it's always nice to be important, Carl, but it's more important to be nice. And so that was the one lesson I learned that absolutely screwed me from ever becoming a good actor or, or anybody that could do anything <laughs> in this world. Well, if you want to take over anywhere, you have to kind of, yeah. I don't know if it always pays to be nice. Look no. at Donald Hump Trump. <laughs> there right? you go. I know if you're a dick, then you're going to become president, I guess. Thank you. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, you could go surfing on his hair. What is that crap? <laughs> now, we share a Polish heritage, Judy. Oh, really? Yes, yes. My, I'm my... half Italian and half, a, half Polish, so I'm always taking a hit out on myself. <laughs> but really, you're Polish? I didn't know that. Yeah, Shamash. Yeah, yeah, Shamash. Have you ever had golumki and pierogi, of course? Oh, my my mother could make the best golumki and, and pierogi and kolachki. Oh, yes. She likes kolachki. We like kolachki. We had the most wonderful Christmas and Thanksgivings because, as you know, 
you know, I, I, I don't know. Did your mom also love to... Well, my mom my mom was the Polish... I'm sorry, the Danish half of, of my heritage, but... Uh, oh, well, they have wonderful food Yes, too. yes, absolutely. But my father's the Polish one, so we'd go over to our relatives, my cousin's places, and we'd, and we'd they'd have sausage and peppers, which is kind of an Italian oh. thing, but oh. it was Polish sausage. And, of course, there'd be pierogi, and this was the Christmas Eve feast, and, you know, the kids would be running around going crazy in the basement playing with toys, and the adults would be upstairs, you know, drinking and eating, and it was it was a great time. <laughs> And they love to. Play. They would always play pinochle at my mom's. Oh yeah. Well, well, we'd we'd run around and eat all the food. Well, you know, and uh, eat the kolachkis, and they'd mm. be playing pinochle after the turkey dinner. So, where did the? How did you get the accordion into your act? Tell me about how you developed. Like what? Well, was the... yes, thank you. Uh, well, as you know, my mom is the Polish one, right? And the the uh, accordion, the squeeze box, was her IUD. So I popped out wearing it, and of course it didn't work because she had nine kids. <laughs> oh my God! We love you, that. You, you know, you must have been the last one then. I was. Ah, I was. I, 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 I'm the petite youngest. All, one. all your brothers and sisters loosened it on their way out. <laughs> I slid right out to the beer bell polka. <laughs> yeah, you better believe it. Did you hit, no? So did you hit the ground uh, with your feet first or head first? Uh, yeah, I think we know it was head first because you know that's why I'm a, kind of a Looney Tune. But yeah, <laughs> no, it was a lot of fun, and I grew up in the uh, mid, you know, in the yeah. Chicago area. Yeah. But you're from you're I'm from, up I'm there from in Buffalo, Pittsburgh. Buffalo. Oh, yes, Buffalo. You know Buffalo. I've been. I've spent many a uh, uh, beautiful July in, stuck in the airport. There. <laughs> yeah, the one day of summer that we get. Oh, even in July. Uh huh. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a week of summer in Buffalo. It's usually in July. Yeah. No, I love it. I love it there. I've been there many times. Um, well, of course, you have the buffalo wings. And, oh yeah, that's that's a great and, and, and the beef on weck, which is the Polish thing. Oh yeah, I. It's a lot of fun there, but, uh, I, but I did work in Buffalo many times. Yes, I loved it there. I would have loved to have worked in Buffalo, but I, there was no job, so that's why I left. And uh, there were so many plentiful jobs in radio elsewhere in the country, so, and that's where I started. And now I do voiceover for a living. See? How much? Don't you love it? You could roll out in your pajamas. Yeah. You don't even have to get dressed. And no, I'm sure you do. But. And, you, and you get paid, and no one knows who the hell you are, so you don't get bothered by anybody. <laughs> but but that's not that's not your fate. You are a famous comedian, and you are going to be on Axis Live doing a, the Gotham Comedy Festival, which is uh, introducing new comedians, and you're hosting the show, right, on March 30th? That correct. That'll be on March 30th, uh, which we film live in beautiful New York City. And uh, that will be, uh, yes, March 30th, Gotham Comedy Live. There will be four other comics on with me, and you're going to love them, and it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm excited. So, uh, you know, I know you're fabulously wealthy and, and, and very comfortable, but are you ever going to get on the road again and, and come to New York City so we can see your show? I do. I love New York. I will be there hopefully this spring. Excellent. So I'll be there. You know, I love coming there for all your parades. I I love the St. Patty's Day Parade, of course, the Gay Pride Parade. I believe that's well, in the end of That's May. in June. No, that's the end of June. It's the last Sunday in June. Okay. I gotta and be there for that. You gotta be there for that. Maybe you, there's still time to become the, uh, the the master of ceremonies, or what do they call it? The, oh, the marshal, the grand marshal. Yeah, the goddess of the of the. Uh, the the love goddess of of the parade, and and well, you mentioned uh, St. Patrick's Day, but we call that straight pride. <laughs> no, <laughs> do you know they actually have a marching band of accordionists for that? No. They do. It's oh, that's fun. great. I love yeah, they, it. and of course they have the bagpipers. Well, what you, what we need you to to be is like they begin the gay pride march with the uh, dykes on bikes, the lesbians oh, on their big Harleys. My favorite. So you need to be sitting on the lap of the lead um, lesbian playing your accordion. I think that'd be a great way to to join oh, the parade. Thank you, march. thank you, Carl. I would love that. And you know, I'm going to get my agent on. I'm going to tell him. You should. We've got to be doing the Gay Pride Parade in New York and Dykes on Bikes. We'd love to it. see you. Hey, when you come to New York, where do you usually perform? What club? Uh, well, I have done Caroline's. Okay. Uh, this time, I think, I well, you know, Gotham, of course. Right, yeah, and that's right next to the Chelsea Hotel, right? Love it. And what else, Judy? You've got, you've got a movie that you just shot, right? Yes, I did, with the wonderful Michael Madsen was nice. And, he is such a great guy. Do you know he oh. did a... He stopped by and did a cameo, and I I was in it with him. Awesome. He did a scene. We did a scene together. He is great, as you know. Oh, what's the name and of the movie? Also, it's going to be. It's a lot of fun. It's called Garlic and Gunpowder, and I play a kind of double agent 
um, you know, trying to help these guys get out from under the mob. And uh, I work with this nasty FBI agent played by Dean McDermott. And um, also in it is uh, Martin Cove, who was in the original uh, um, Karate Kid. Right. And, uh, among other things, you know, Cagney and Lacey. And, that sounds like yeah, a lot of fun. So when, when, a lot of fun. when do you expect fact, it to come out? I, what's that, when, when do you expect it to come out? I, I w- at the end of the summer, this summer. Okay, cool. Well, I'll, yeah. I'll keep an eye on that. And uh, hey, can you, uh, we've run out of time, but can you take us out with a, with a song? I would love that, Carl. As you know, I love New York and I love you. And uh, as you know, I'm going to do a special song right here. Yay. Let's do it. I like boys who wear my clothes and live with their no mother and paint their toes. Yeah, I like boys who wear my clothes, don't you? Polka! Judy Tenuta, thank you so much for the conversation and for the songs. It was a real pleasure. I, I really appreciate thank it. Thank you, Carl. I hope to see you when I come by there and do the gay pride parade because, as you know, John Travolta can't wait to go on a Tom Cruise. And we have got <laughs> to have equal rights for everyone. All right. There. Thank Thanks. you. Thanks, Judy. Well, there you have it. Another edition of the Itinerant Voice Actor with me, Carl Bishop. My little podcast that no one listens to, but everyone should. Special thanks to Johnny and Robert at Wise Brother Media, celebrity booker Paul Adamo, my partner in crime David Levin at Brainstorm Inc., and the super talented Noel Honig at The Drawing Room NYC. More episodes of the itinerant voice actor coming soon. Thanks for listening.